Hi, I'm Jim McCutcheon, owner of McCutcheon Music, and on this video of our Choose Your Instrument series, we welcome Lawrence Wiley. He's played trumpet with a number of symphony orchestras and spent over 20 years playing with the U.S. Air Force Band of Flight. He's here today to tell us about his favorite instrument, the trumpet. Welcome, Lawrence. Hi, I'm Lawrence Wiley and I'm a trumpet teacher. I'm here today to talk to you about the trumpet. This is a B-flat trumpet. This is the trumpet that just about everybody plays. This is the trumpet that all students will play. And it's about four feet of tubing wrapped around and around and around. And it is a brass instrument, obviously. This one is raw brass, as you can see. This is a trumpet mouthpiece. And the first thing we do to make a trumpet work is we learn to buzz the mouthpiece. And that is done by just putting it up here. And the way you start is you kind of go M, mm, and and you do that into the mouthpiece. Right? And that starts the air column through the horn and the buzzing through the horn. And that's what makes the bell vibrate and then in in turn makes the trumpet work. So when you put that all together, you have a trumpet sound. All right. And there are many, many things that you can play on trumpet. There's all kinds of different styles of music, uh, all kinds of stuff like that. Trumpet works a little different than some instruments because a lot of instruments like the saxophone have a lot of keys, right? Trumpet has three vowels. And with those three vowels, we have seven combinations. Open, second, first, first and second, second and third, first and third, and first, second and third. And with those combinations and our air, we can play way low and way high. <laughs> Up and down the trumpet with those seven valve combinations all right and we can play many different things many different ways we use our tongue to slur and tongue things right lots of different different things we can do with trumpet there are different kinds of trumpets that, that are for different types of applications. There's a piccolo trumpet, there's a flugelhorn, there's a sea trumpet, lots of different types of trumpets for different applications. But as I said a minute ago, for band, most of the time you're always going to be playing this kind of a B-flat trumpet. All right, I'm going to play a little piece of music for you. I think everybody will probably recognize this. It's a, from a pretty popular movie. Let's see if you can figure out what this is. Okay, so did you guess what piece that was? Just in case you didn't get it, that was Hedwig's theme from Harry Potter. I think everybody probably got that, though. All right, the next piece I'm going to play, just another little short clip, is from uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean. I think probably most of y'all will probably get that, but just in case, it's the medallion calls from Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> Now that we've talked about what a trumpet is and 
listen to a little bit of trumpet playing, let's talk about the instrument itself. When you get your student an instrument, it's going to be a B-flat trumpet like this. And you need to make sure you get them a good instrument. You should go through a reputable music store and make sure that you work with your instrument rep to get an instrument that's good. Stay away from instruments that you can buy off of the internet. Those internet instruments are very cheaply made and they will break. I've had students come in with an instrument that their parents bought them off the internet. I won't mention any names, but um, the instrument had broken after a year and then the parents have to go out and get another instrument. So make sure that you talk with your instrument reps, with your band director, and with your local music store, whichever music store you go with, and get your student a quality instrument. They have rental programs, they have instruments that you can just buy, they have a lot of options. Talk to them, work with them, and get a good instrument. Also, with that instrument and with the music store, make sure that you um, get some accessories like valve oil. The kids will need valve oil and slide grease. Uh, you can buy music uh, for beginners, for intermediates, all kinds of things like that through your local music store. And what may even be more important is they do have a quality repair staff and that repair staff can go in and fix things that happen. Like students often don't oil their valves enough and they will stick. Sometimes they'll stick up, sometimes they'll stick down, but then you can't get them free and you take them into your repair shop and they can fix those things. Also, students always get dents in their horns. It's gonna happen, my son did it, my other son did it, I did it. It's just a thing that happens. You know, it's a brass instrument. It can only take so much and kids every now and again will, you know, accidentally whack it on something or drop a mute on it, whatever. And the repair staff can go in and smooth that out and make it look good. Also, you periodically want to make sure you go in and get your instrument cleaned, right? You don't want to be this close to something that's growing gunk in it. Instruments will collect dirt and grime because it's just a natural thing. Everything collects dirt and grime and you don't want your kids being again this close to something that is a potential chemistry experiment if if you will. All right so make sure you get your instrument cleaned periodically. Don't want to make anybody sick. Okay. I should also talk about lessons. Lessons are so good for kids. Band directors only have so much time with kids. There can be a band director and they might have anywhere from 20, 30, 40 or more kids in a beginning band and they can only spend so much time with those kids, right? And it's almost impossible for them to be able to spend any one-on-one -on -one quality time with students. That's where private instructors come in. Private instructors spend a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with kids and it really accelerates the learning process. It really helps the kids learn and, and it gives the kids somebody that they can look up to and that they know cares about them to help them learn. It also helps the kids to be better leaders through band. Most of the kids that take lessons are going to do better in band and they're gonna accelerate and they're gonna learn faster they're going to be at the top end of the section somewhere and they're going to help people below them just like their private teachers are helping them. They're also going to help the band director. So lessons don't just teach the kids about playing, they teach kids about life and how to be a good person. Thank you, Lawrence. I can see why so many young people are drawn to want to learn to play the trumpet. Here at McCutcheon Music, music education is a priority. Every instrument that goes out the door, be it trumpets or for smaller players, cornets, is of the highest quality, a quality that meets or exceeds the national standards set by music educators. Our instrument repair shop is made of individuals that have decades of experience doing just that.
We have a budget-friendly instrument rental program, and if you want to purchase the instrument outright, we offer substantial discounts. We have a wonderful teaching staff made up of individuals like Lawrence who have decades of experience performing and teaching. Let us be a part of your child's music education. Call us at the number on your screen or visit our website. Thank you.